Hey everyone, it's Tony here. Today we'll be going over the INTP using Magnus Carlsen as an example. If you haven't heard of him, he's a very famous world champion chess player from Norway, and he's been in the public spotlight for quite some time now. And I know I'm kind of playing into the stereotype of INTPs being high IQ 40 chess players, but I'm just urging you to let go of that for now and look at him as a human being through the lens of the cognitive functions. And just to make things worse, almost everywhere I looked, I saw him being typed as an ISTP. And if I had to guess why, it's probably because of some of the comments he's made, but I couldn't really find more evidence for that typing. Uh, and even though I wanted to keep this video as general as possible, I also kind of had to provide examples of why I think he's actually INTP at the same time, which was not easy. So I had to extract clips from uh, two different interviews and you can find those sources below. Anyways, I hope you find this interesting and I'd be curious to hear what you think about it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. How often will you say that you, you think about chess? Uh, it's hard to say. Uh, sometimes it feels like all the time. Sometimes I get a bit of a break, but it's always, uh, it's almost always in the back of my mind. Uh, do you think about chess now? Yes. What do you think about? Uh, it's different fragments of, of games. My mind is just analyzing stuff in the background. Yeah, uh, I will be, uh, yeah, my mind will be somewhere else. I will be thinking about uh, certain, uh, certain games, certain positions. I'm, I'm not one of those, in lack of a better expression, borderline nutcases. <laughs> but uh, I, uh, I, I think I am naturally more, more introvert than extrovert, yeah. This was one of the best examples of first law at TI that I could find. And it basically shows that TI doms will almost always be logically breaking things down in the back of their mind, even if it's fragments of information that have nothing to do with what's coming out of their mouth. Kind of like infinite thinking and deconstruction of data that's always turned on. And remember, it's an introverted function by nature, so most of the thinking and calculation they do is going to be private and they're going to keep it to themselves. And they usually have to slow that down if they want to socially interact with someone. But even so, it'll still be on in the back of their mind. Most of the time, I know what to do. I don't have to figure it out. <laughs> I don't have to sit there, calculate for 45 minutes, an hour to, to know what the right move. I just, usually I can just feel it immediately. If you know immediately, why do you sit there for a half hour? We've been watching you for a week and you're sitting there until we're watching the paint dry. Well, because I have to, you know, verify my opinion, see that I haven't missed anything. But a lot of the time it's fairly useless because I know what I'm going to do and then I sit there for, for a long time and I, I do what I, I immediately wanted to do. So again, another example of first thought TI that I wanted to share. But the most important part to take out of that is how he says that he has to verify his own opinion. Even when he's familiar with positions in chess, it's almost as if INTPs never want to accept anything at face value out of fear of being wrong or making a mistake. They always want to verify their own opinion. Uh, so they'll even question objective facts in some cases until they've broken them down with their own way of thinking. When I see a chess position, I always have uh, some idea very quickly of what I should do, and I can see these things immediately where other people see chaos. Pieces uh, appear on the, on the squares in, in the blink of an eye. It happens uh, automatically. Okay, uh, that was a neat little visual example of what TINE might look like on a chessboard. But it's interesting that he says that it happens automatically and that he uses the word chaos to describe the infinite possibilities that he sees. Because a lot of people will view NE as chaotic, but it doesn't have to be about chess necessarily. Like take speech, for example, an INTP might want to express something verbally that means X, 
and second saw any will basically support the ti and come up with different possibilities like well i can say this word or this phrase or that word or that phrase oh i like that word for x but maybe it's too late magnus told us that he can remember 10,000 games that have been played in the past he's got them in his mind okay. so we set up a board okay go ahead <laughs> This is um, Carlson Kasparov from uh, Reykjavik, 2004. And you were um, how I was, old? I was 13 years old. Mm -hmm. Even though that might seem impressive at first, you got to remember that he's a world champion chess player and that he's been playing and thinking about it pretty much every day since he was five. Uh, but it's still a good example of third slot SI. Uh, you can think of it something like... Uh, a storage for information that has gone through the filters of TI and NE, which is saved for later use. So, yeah, it's kind of lame that he picked a game that Magnus played himself. I mean, come on. So what are you doing for the rest of the day? I'm preparing for the next game. He had a day off. He'd been in London before, but told us he'd never seen the sights. We took him up onto this, this it's a giant Ferris wheel that overlooks London and it's right on the south side of the Thames so you can see the Houses of Parliament, Big Ben. We were up in the London Eye for I guess 45 minutes or so. He didn't look out the window. Just, he wasn't interested. Do you ever stop thinking about chess? Sometimes, but uh, right now I was actually thinking about chess. And you were but thinking about specific moves? Or? Yeah, I was thinking about something specific in my preparation for my game tomorrow. So this is just another example of TI processing that goes on in the back of his head again, even when he's being interviewed in front of a tourist spot. Uh, but what I really wanted to get at here is, did you notice the way he was walking? Like how it was kind of quirky and unsure to the point that he almost trips over himself? Or how the guy says he didn't look out the window at all the whole time they were up there? Uh, well, that's seven slot SE guys, and I'm not gonna get into this now because it's a bit too deep for this video. I want to try and keep it as basic as I can, but I just want to say that to show that I disagree with him being typed as an ISTP, and most importantly, I'm looking at this specific example of Magnus and this specific clip that was shown. I'm not making any general statements here. I'm not saying all INTPs do this. I just want to be very clear about that. <laughs> One of the reasons why he's really good at playing chess is that his mind is working with chess problems kind of all day. Uh, and it can be a bit frustrating <laughs> because he will sometimes just like drop out of a conversation. What is? Hmm? I can't think about that today. <laughs> it's a pretty wholesome clip, of course, but if only his socks were matching, it would make him more INTP. It's a good example of fourth slot uh, extroverted feeling and the TIFE axis as a whole. You know, the dominant function, because it's in the first slot, it's obviously going to be very strong and something that's been developing since childhood. But this does mean, however, that the inferior function, extroverted feeling in this case, is naturally going to be, uh, it's going to play a very quiet, supportive role in the background, and it's just sometimes forgotten. And this isn't to say that INTPs aren't interested in the things that FE might signify, like group dynamics, harmony, social cues, outward emotional expression. The FE is still there, but because it's in the fourth, it can be a bit overwhelmed sometimes by dominant TI. Anyways, uh, I'm going to wrap up this video for now. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. And for all the INTPs out there tuning in, don't be a lurker. Let me know your opinion on this one because if I'm going to be totally honest, it was quite difficult for me to find a good example of an INTP. And I kind of had to go against the grain this time to provide an example of one and show function usage. So let me know. Take care, guys.